Oh, hey. Hello, Franklin Music Families and musicians. Um, my name is Mr. Owens. I am the band director at Franklin High School. And um, I wanted to take some time to just really introduce our concert band class this, this year and what it looks like and what the expectations are and what we've done so far and how to navigate the online platform and all those things. So um, you can see here, this is our concert band class on uh, Canvas, which all students are expected to, to log into Canvas and to do their work through Canvas. And the great thing about Canvas is, and at first I was skeptical, but everything you try to embed into Canvas so students don't have to leave as, as often and they can do a lot of their work right on this platform. So this is our homepage and actually I'm in student view right now. So this is what the students see. And I have, I have post announcements, um, haven't really got into discussions yet, assignments, and then we also can video right on here. So students can video themselves and upload those videos to um, their assignments. So um, I think one thing that's important to realize here is that um, it's gonna take some courage and passion and practice and I think, you know, when we used to travel to the building and play, play our instruments in the building, a lot of students found that it was easy just to play at school, play in the ensemble, and then at home, they didn't really find a practice space. Well, in this environment, being in a practice space at home is imperative. It's very important. Students need to have a practice space where they can feel like they can work on their musicianship, work on their music, feel accomplished and successful in this class. And um, so I'm asking parents to really help support your musician in that and um, help them find that place where they can, they can work and feel comfortable playing their instrument. And I know that's a challenge and we're not all in the same um, situation. So uh, you might have to be creative and um, I just, I'm completely fine with what you need to do and, you know, given your situation. So just make the best you can and, and do what you can to be great. So this is our class meetup link for concert band and we meet uh, every single day. So regardless if it's asynchronous or synchronous time, and there's a definition of those, uh, of those terms here, our live times, and you can see that I posted the schedule for each day. Um, so we meet live on Monday and also on Thursday. And then we also meet live on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday for a short amount of time and I can clarify any questions or help any students or we can work in small groups. I can assign group work to do where clarinets meet together, small ensemble kinds of things and we're building our, our music community together. Um, I have a link right on here, parents, for um, a guide so you can, you can use your mobile phone to be an observer and to be a part of the class so you can see what, what we're doing and you can see what your students assignments are and so please um, have have your student show you the home page and then you can click on there and find the directions on how you can be more actively involved in in participating with your with your musician and what they're doing uh, through canvas online um, no doubt this is one of a kind this is the first time we've ever done this and um, it is going to take some courage and if we put our minds to it we can do some special things and so the plan is, is we're going to set up these protocols and these ideas of what we should be doing. And then we're going to have some product from that. And we're going to put those things together and I'll share, share that with you in just a minute. So let's talk a little bit about online class, classroom norms and expectations. I expect um, everyone to be present for all classes. I know that might not be possible sometimes, but that's the expectation and the norm. Also, um, when you get to class, during these times here, you're going to have your, um, your microphone off and your camera on. I know there may be times when you need to turn your camera off uh, for one reason or another, but the expectation is that you have it on. And I've found out in these first couple of weeks that when students have their cameras on, we all feel more connected to each other. I mean, imagine right now, if I didn't have my camera on, um, you wouldn't see the inflection on my face and my approach to you and to um, this teaching opportunity in this classroom. So 
please students have your mics off and your cameras on unless specified, um, which we, we do actually. I'll have all the kids have their mics on and we'll just, it'll sound like a band room. We're all making some uh, warm up sounds and doing things and then we'll all turn our mics off and we'll tune so forth. Um, have your instrument and your practice space ready for each class. Uh, you know, I have my clarinet here and um, I'll play for the students often. I'll ask them to play. So the expectation is that you're not laying on your bed. You're um, not up eating a sandwich. You're in front of the class with your camera on and your instrument is available so you can work through some skills and do things in class just like band. Um, be actively engaged in activities and, and supportive, or sorry, be actively engaged in activities and playing assignments. So I expect to be able to call on you um, in the moment, and I think that that keeps us all together and connected. Also, um, be courteous, courageous, kind, and supportive of, um, of others. So um, meaning that this is not an easy environment, so we need to be courageous, we need to be courteous, we need to be kind, we need to be supportive. And um, we're doing this together. We're a community of people together that is trying to find great ways to, to make this work and to feel viable in this, in this model because we have to and it's the responsible thing to do. Um, and then also strive to improve your mus musicianship. And um, that means some mornings you might not feel very good, you know, but you're gonna have to take a deep breath and roll your shoulders back and and realize that, you know, that's normal. There's days when I don't feel my best, but I still put my, my best foot forward and I, I show up and I expect you to do the same. So here's, here's something that's super important. And I think that uh, once we get into this model, it's gonna really help our players and our musicians. Um, typically students sometimes, especially if they haven't had private instruction, um, they'll just grab their instrument and they'll just start playing the performance piece, whatever it is. And the problem with that is, is that no different than when you exercise, you're not taking the time to stretch, you know, if you're not taking the time to stretch and prepare your body for exercise, you tend to not do the exercise correctly or you might possibly uh, hurt something in the process. So uh, think of your musicianship and your musicality the same way. We want to do things to set our body up for success. So warm-ups are really key and warm-ups usually always start with long tones. And that's where you, you find a good posture and position where you don't have tension um, and you focus on your breath and then you release air and you wanna move that air through your instrument in a consistent way that creates good tone and good, good sound and good support. So a nice low so sound here. This is how I would warm up. And then maybe I would play the fifth of that. Well, I could be looking at a tuner here too and then so on and so forth. And I play an upper register note. Great way to start. Once you do that and you concentrate on those things like posture, tone, um, breathing, airflow, then you tune up because now your instrument's warm. And once your instrument's warm, then it'll tend to stay in tune better for, for you. So you don't want to tune right away. Um, the next thing we do in our practice is we do scales, exercises, and routines that help us build our musicianship. So that's after tuning, it's articulation work, fingerings, scales, etudes that work, musicality, and dynamics, and all of those things. And that should be about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes on warm-ups, 10 minutes on warm-ups. And then the last 15 to 20 minutes, or 30 minutes, depending on, um, you know, where you're at in this practice model, and how used to this you are, then you work your performance pieces. So you take all those things that you worked on in your warmups and your skill development, and you take that into your performance pieces. So then all of a sudden, 45 minutes doesn't seem like that long to practice. That's what we wanna get into every day. Then take a day off, take two days off if you need to, but you want to be consistent. If you're only playing your instrument at home, 
once or twice a week, you're not going to build those skills. And that's what we want to do. Remember, we can be great. We just have to take the appropriate steps to do so. Um, we're going to work on smart music and uh, smart music is a great platform for you to practice, sight read, and do those things. Musictheory.net is also where I will make assignments. And that's just to build your music theory knowledge and how the language of music works. And then, of course, we're going to submit some performance recordings and put on a virtual concert. And so on this homepage, you can see the pieces that we're going to play. Um, this is a pretty challenging piece, this Spanish March, and you can listen to it, get your sheet music, all of those things. This is our slow, pretty piece. And then we have a fun queen arrangement here if we get to it. We might not get to all three of these pieces for our first virtual concert. Our first virtual concert is on, I should know off the top of my head, October 22nd. That is the goal. I'll put together all of our musicians playing together and present this online. And then down here at the bottom, one, one thing that's really important, um, as your students take music more and more seriously and it seems like it's the right fit, please look at these online um, music teachers that, that teach all of these different instruments and find a music teacher that you can work with online right now. It really makes a big difference. And actually online instruction is working out really well. It gives a student the time to communicate like this um, do some things, work, work some skills, and I'm, my son takes online lessons. I know it's not available for everyone, nor is it something that everyone can afford, but if you can, um, it's a great opportunity. Um, I, I wanted to show you, I don't, I'm not sure how much time I've been so far, but I wanted to show you some of the neat things about smart music. It has a tuner on here. Um, you can do sight reading examples where you can play your part. You can adjust the tempo so students can listen and hear what to do. This is a simple sight read. It's actually not that simple, but a sight read that I would assign my wind ensemble. So students can listen to it. They can follow along and track the music. And then they can record themselves, themselves playing. And then they can take that audio file and upload it to their assignment. And then also I can look on smart music and see how much time they're putting in into that. And then here is musictheory.net also. And it just has a lot of fantastic lessons and exercises for students, scale identification, intervals, key signatures, ear training. All of these things are available and we'll do some of them throughout the semester. Um, as far as grading goes, uh, if students are in class and doing work, and submitting things, I do have a point system and I'll meet students where they're at, no matter where they're at. And, and grades are based off of where a student is at and their improvement and their approach to class. And it's on a point system. So um, really have had a great time with, with your musicians these first couple weeks. And I'm looking forward to watching our development together as a band and as a community of musicians. And um, please feel free to get a hold of me my email is jowens2 at pps.net, and I will respond to you uh, as soon as I can with any with questions and so forth. Uh, thank you, and I, I look forward to working with your students, and um, it's a privilege.